Modern day Cruella DeVille's snatching dogs right out of backyards. A not in your side viewer reached out to us after it happened to her and some of her neighbors. We sent Marcelino Benito to investigate in this not in your side crime watch. A nice big yard, empty. Food and water bowls left untouched. The dog that used to live here, gone. It feels like one of my kids is gone. You know, I feel really lost. Denise Montagna says her four year old English bulldog, Fat Boy, she's had him since he was four months old, stolen, snatched out of this locked up backyard. Whoever did it got him up and over the fence. You can still see the dog hairs the crooks left behind. Do you feel violated? Definitely. It just feels like they just came in, you know, into my space and took a piece of me. She filed a police report and flyered the neighborhood near Bilby and 12th. Everybody knows Fat Boy. Everybody knows him. Everybody loves him. So I'm just hoping somebody saw something. Just a day later, two other dogs disappear from a yard just a block away. Tonight, the American Kennel Club tells me dog napping on the rise. Take a look at these numbers. In 2010, 255 dogs stolen. In 2012, that jumped to 458. Fat Boy. One of the latest victims. Why would anyone want to steal your dog? Um, well, I know English bulldogs are real popular. He's um, a very expensive dog. Together, her family has scoured to get him back. I look every day. Everywhere I go, I look in yards and cars. But that search so far turned up empty. Montagna says she's not giving up hope and wants the people stealing dogs to hear this. I just want him back, and I don't have any hard feelings for anybody as long as they return him to me safe. Now, this flyer has been posted all over Denise's neighborhood. We've also posted it on our website, kgun9.com, for you to take a closer look. If you've seen Fat Boy or know who may be involved with these dog nappings, you're asked to call Tucson police. Marcelino, you can understand how she feels. We've got dogs. I know how we would feel if this happened, but what do you do to protect your pets in this kind of situation? Well, Jennifer, the Humane Society says it's important to never leave your pet unattended outside. It's also a good idea to get your dog microchipped. That way, in case your dog is stolen, it may be easier to find. Oh, I sure do hope she gets him back. Yeah. Marcelino, thank you so much.